What's up guys? I want to die. How's it going? So no, I'm not just doing the same video again. I know that's what it seems like. But this is where he talks about his dad. So if you didn't see my last video about where he just like explains all of it, you know, they're just like talking to him about all that shit about how he fucks his car. Well, now he's about to tell his dad. And, uh, oh boy, this makes me never want to have kids. When I have a kid, and if my kid fucks his car, I don't, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm pretty positive I'm gonna beat the fuck out of him. Let's just see how fucking terrible this gets. Nathaniel asked me to come up here. Basically, he had something that he wanted to tell me. I don't know exactly what it's about, but I'd like to know uh, what's going on in his life. Well, it can't be fucking good. You are mic'd up and there are big cameras all around, so it's gotta be awful. I wonder who was thinking before this. I wonder what he thought he was gonna hear. Yeah, uh, there's something pretty important I want to talk to you about. Alright, um... I'm, uh, I'm just gonna come out and say it, I guess. The dad's probably like, oh, he's gay. Gay? He has to be gay. That's what's gonna happen. I'm in an uh, intimate relationship with Chase. See? Gay. The dad's still thinking gay. Got him. He's gay. Chase, where, where is he at? I'm looking for him. Is he thick? Got a big dick. Um, sexually and emotionally. You're in an intimate relationship with your car. Yes. And sexually with your car. Yes. I love how the dad knows Chase is the car. I don't think my parents know when I named any of my cars. I don't even remember it. If I named all of the cars, I know a few of them would have, you know, kind of ironically or not. Your car? Yes. How does... I don't... How does that work? How can you have sex with a car? Yes, Nathaniel! Yes! How do you have sex with a car? Please! Mainly it's just a lot of just rubbing up against him. Well, that's what I do to homeless people, and I don't consider it sex, so... Um... Okay, um, certain, and it involves masturbating as well. Oh, just telling your dad that. That's cool. That's great. I wouldn't, I would never, obviously. Help me out. When did, I mean, this started, is uh, it? it mainly started when I was younger. I just didn't have a lot of friends, and, um. And you would fuck me in the ass to wake me up in the morning. That had probably had a big part in it. Not saying it's your fault, but, you know. You've always been kind of. A loner. Uh, yeah, yeah. You always and, uh, liked it alone. Right. You've always been a loner, a big fucking loser virgin, and you still are. Fucking your car doesn't count, Nathaniel. It's, I just started having those feelings more and more after I hit puberty, and it just became more and more serious after that as far as the sexual side and the emotional side. Don't get me wrong, I mean, I like my motorcycle, you know, and right. I like my cars, you know, but I mean, I, I, they're cars to me. Right. They're not a sexual object, I guess, yeah. as you see them, right? I right. Mean. Right? What do you mean, right? Obviously. What if this just runs the family? What if the dad's just lying? What if he's like, oh my god, this is hereditary. You're telling me every time you hop on that motorcycle, you don't get that sexual feeling when it vibrates on your balls? Yeah, okay, older Nathaniel, you fucking weirdo. Was it because I was it, wasn't really around? Bingo! Your fault. You fucked him up. Fuck you, buddy. We just couldn't spend a lot of time. To, well, I mean, we you were. You know, I had to stay with mom pretty much. All right. The time. And I moved away, and I wasn't around. But you. I'm not blaming you for that. I'm not blaming you for leaving and stuff. I'm blaming you for me wanting to fuck my car. I, I don't think this is a healthy conversation. I mean, it's good to tell people. However, I think there should be at least a psychiatrist involved in this convo, not just a uh, fucking three microphones and a cameraman. I don't know. That shouldn't know. But I know that it has something to do with it. I mean, I feel like it has part to do with it. Not all, but part. Because I wasn't around, wasn't there for you. I mean, it's your fault. You know, I wish I could have been there for you and your sister more. I, I wish I didn't fuck you in the ass to wake you up in the morning. I, I really don't think that has anything to do with it, though. I, I just think it's because you're a fucking loner loser virgin. You know, I wish we could get closer. I wish there was more time. It seems like there's a long time that goes between visits. Hopefully we can, we can get on a... A little bit closer relationship and I can try to figure this out. Well this definitely isn't for you to figure out because if you keep coming back into this guy's life he's definitely gonna try and start the Holocaust 2.0. You, you really want to get closer to Nathaniel? R really? After hearing this you're like man maybe now I should enter his life. You don't want to just start forking out cash for a psychiatrist? You should probably do that instead at least first. Well this is just one of my quick Monday videos. I might I did like a, a spicy ramen video, like the hottest ramen ever or something like that. And I, I don't know if the video's good, probably is it. Probably not gonna post it, but if I do, that's also gonna come out today. 
<laughs> Probably not. Thank you so much for watching this super quick video. Uh, smack this button to subscribe if you haven't already. Two videos right here. Follow me at Winebox Poppy on literally everything, please. You, uh, you think his dad's gonna start giving it a try? Maybe put the, uh, the motorcycle handle in his mouth and give it a little, uh, fellatio?